Hi, Ruan here. So in this video, we'll be learning how to program loops in Python. So let's get started. But for the sake of this video, we'll be only be going through for loops and while loops. Okay. So what basically for loops and while loops are, are there isn't much difference because they just loop through stuff. And, but there's one addition between them is that you use for loops when you know the number of items in the list or the number of iterations you have in a code, if that makes sense. And you use while loops when you don't know what the number is. Okay, let's get started. Let's have a comment for a side note for loops. Okay, so let's have a list. List one is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait, I'm just gonna do something really fancy here for items okay in list one i want to print every item in it okay so what this basically does it it goes through the complete list it gets every item in it and it prints it for us it did that okay nice so the um it this is what this thing doesn't have to be items you can name it anything so it doesn't matter and now if I print it, it'll still work. Okay, nice. Just a side note, to end um, um, an infinite loop, you use the break command or break function. I'll explain more about it in the end, okay. So the next thing you can have is for x in range. Okay, this is something new. So range is a function in which you can give either two arguments or one argument. If I give one argument, It'll start at zero and it'll get a uh, loop through every number until it reaches 10, while 10 being exclusive. So now if I print x and now if I run it, it'll give me, it'll start at zero and end at nine because 10 is exclusive. Now, if I want to start at five, here comes the two arguments, it'll still work. You can still do that. So cool. Now, let's just head over to while loops now. I'm just gonna have while loops, but to have it, let's just get with the most basic one, while true. So while true basically is a loop which goes through the loop while the condition is true. I just have um, x, it's equal to one. I wanna print x, x plus equals one. And yeah, you guess it, it just breaks your whole terminal. Nice. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Next thing I told you about um, break, right? So if it reaches, I can change the true value. It can be as true, but if um, x is greater than or equal to 10, I want to break the loop. So this is mainly uh, you use mainly um, the break command when you are on infinite loop on the true loop. So now if I run this, it'll start at one and end at nine again. Okay. But if I don't want to have this, I can still do it by changing the true value. So while x is smaller than or equal to ten, I'm going to print x and do that it still work so nice okay um that is it for me today and i hope you learned something new today probably of while loops and for loops and one thing you can know is that you can also if you're into um object oriented programming you can also use for loops and while loops when you're using methods and all and classes so yeah i hope you'll um, like the video and i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you guys in the next video later